feel if I told you that by making small change in your life, you can improve your health, make a huge impact on the environment, and even save lives. It's great, isn't it? So my name is Miki Chaimovic. Americans probably don't know me, Israelis probably do. Since I used to be the anchor woman for the nightly news for almost two decades in Israel, being a news person in Israel means many things. Well, it's very interesting, it's also very hectic, but it also has an emotional burden since too often you have to deliver sad or bad news. And this is the reason why four years ago I felt that I needed to take a break. And I wanted to devote my time to do something that matters to me, is important, and may, maybe even make a change. I'm a vegetarian for many years. 24 years ago, I've decided that I cannot see the difference between the pets I have at home and the animals I used to eat. So I stopped eating them. But I used to be, as my mother said, a non-problematic vegetarian. It means that on family dinners, I used to eat the side dishes and never bother anyone with agendas or terrible stories about the sad way the steak made to the plate. So what has changed? In 2009, when Sir Paul McCartney launched the Meat-Free Monday campaign in the, in the UK, I learned for the first time about the environmental implication of the livestock industry. And I realized that it's more than ideology. And I remember thinking to myself back then, mm, maybe I should do the same, but I was too busy. So when I retired from the news, suddenly it was clear to me. This is what I should do. I should bring the Meatless Monday campaign to Israel. Before I tell you what we did and what happened, a few words about Meatless Monday. Well, it started here in New York. Sid Lerner founded Meatless Monday in 2003 with Johns Hopkins. And the idea was simple, to fight obesity and promote healthy diet by replacing the meat with vegetables and fruits and lentils and beans and grain, because people eat these days much too, much, too much meat than they used to eat like 60 or 50 years ago. It became more accessible, more affordable, but also the quality of meat is not the same as it used to be 60 or 50 years ago. It has full, it's full with hormones and antibiotics and all other bad aspects of farm factory. So the beginning of the campaign focused on health. In 2006, the UN published a report titled Livestock Long Shadow. And it shocked the world and even surprised some of you here. Majority of greenhouse gases come from livestock industry, more than transportation, more all the trains and cars and planes. Because you see, animals are gassy. They produce methane gas. And we are talking about billions of animals that are slaughtered every year. And methane gas stays in the atmosphere 20 times long longer than carbon dioxide. And livestock industry is extremely wasteful in terms of land and water and energy because you have to use them twice. Once to grow the crops, to feed the animals, and then to raise the livestock itself. Did you know that to produce one small burger, you have to use the amount of water that will be enough for a four-hour shower? And did you know that one meatless day in the USA is like taking off the road 25 million cars permanently? So this is why the campaign combines now the two messages, environment and health and says something simple, do something that is good for you and do something that is good for the animals. And I didn't say anything about how cruel this industry is. So we can also add, do something for the welfare of the animals. Knowing all this, you can understand why I wanted to bring the campaign to Israel. And I thought to myself, well, I will come to the Ministry, Ministry of Environment and offer myself, Miki Chaimovich, famous news person, free, and we will make a public campaign together. But at the meeting there, 
I learned that, unfortunately, the budget for campaigns were already spent on a recycling campaign, and the answer was no. But at that meeting, something good came from this meeting. I met there, Liat and Maya. They specialize in uh, marketing of uh, environmental campaigns, and they offered me their help voluntarily. And this is how we got started, three women on our own. We wanted that when we will launch the campaign, we will already show some achievements. And uh, this, this is why I started meeting with all the people that we thought were relevant, chefs and journalists and dietitians and doctors. And this is the way how we started our first partnership with Israel's largest catering company that feeds hundreds of thousands of workers every day, ISS Catering. We worked on branding, designing our own logo, uh, brochures, Facebook page, we uh, website in the internet. Our first idea was uh, that we will launch uh, the campaign in the Israeli parliament, the Knesset. We aimed big. So I met with the former chairman of the Knesset, Ruby Rivlin, which is now our president. He's vegetarian. And he really liked the idea and supported it. And we even set a date. But in Israel, as in Israel, there's election almost every two years. So the Knesset finished its term before time. So we had to change our plans. And in the end, we had a very nice opening event in a nice restaurant in Jaffa with all Israel's top chefs. It was November 2012, and we came out big. I'm not ashamed to say that I used my fame for this good cause, all my relations and my power, and we got huge media coverage. Yes, and um, being a small country has some benefits. So the news travels fast. And uh, after a year, we took a survey. And the survey showed 70% of awareness to the campaign. And last September, the numbers showed 26% of participation in Meatless Monday. And that is with zero ad, nothing, just PR. And because we are small and don't have much of uh, resources. We're in dozens of cafeteria of industry leaders such as Intel and HP and Google and Teva. Even in the Foreign Affairs Office, we are in the cafeteria. There's Meatless Monday. And the meaning is that there's the biggest selection of vegetarian and vegan food on Mondays. There's still meat, but less, because we don't believe in forcing anyone. We have uh, activities in universities, we're in uh, cafeterias of uh, dining rooms of kibbutzim. Some kibbutzim still have dining rooms, and we're in some of them. We're in five main hospitals. We're in kindergartens and, and schools in cities as Petah Tikva and Tel Aviv and Jerusalem and uh, Kfar Saba. Even the scouts movement have a special activity about Meatless Monday. This is from the summer camp, and they get even a special patch to put on their uniform when they pass this uh, activity. And finally, we got the support of the former ministers of uh, health and environment. And, and I, sure, I hope that the next one will support us as well. And even our prime minister invited me to his house, announcing that he and his wife, Sarah, will stop eating meat on Monday. And uh, we have also uh, events to attract the media attention every few months, uh, like the Meatless Monday runs that we already had uh, twice, and the next one is about a few months. And this is, became like a tradition, Meatless Monday run. And what about uh, the Knesset, if you're asking? Well, it took us, oh, we won the Green Globe Award for 2014 for promoting sustainable food. And what about the Knesset? So it took us two more years but finally it happened. We celebrate, celebrated our second anniversary of Meatless Monday Israel in the Israeli parliament in the Knesset, and there's Meatless Monday in the cafeteria. And although uh, there's election next week and probably some of the members will change, Meatless Monday is there to stay. And as for me, well, I'm uh, vegan now, so according to my mother, I'm more problematic. 
but I feel the best ever. I do a lot of sports, even triathlons. And uh, I'm back on television. I have now my show. It's an investigative reporting show about social and environmental issues. And I'm uh, still committed to Meatless Monday because there's still a lot of work. So I uh, challenge you next Monday, go meatless. Do it for you, do it for the planet, and do it for the animals.